Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the ascending aorta. The ascending aorta is the initial part of the aorta and aorta is the major artery in our body. So the ascending aorta, it ascends from the left ventricle. So this is the ascending aorta. Aorta and this is the arch of the aorta. Arch of the aorta and ascending aorta continued as arch of the aorta. Arch of the aorta continued as descending thoracic aorta. This is the descending thoracic aorta. Descending thoracic aorta and descending thoracic aorta below the aortic opening of the diaphragm this is the aortic hiatus of the diaphragm of the diaphragm okay and this part becomes continued as the abdominal aorta. Abdominal air aorta bifurcates into, into left and right common iliac arteries. So this is a common iliac artery, common iliac artery. We have another common iliac artery here. Today I will emphasize on the ascending aorta. This is the ascending aorta. So the ascending aorta, as I discussed, it ascends from the left ventricle. So this is the left ventricle, and from the upper end of the left ventricle, the base of the left ventricle, the ascending aorta, this is the ascending aorta, it ascends. Okay. So, we can say here, the ascending aorta, arises from the upper or we can call it upper end it is also called base of the left ventricle of the heart got the, the beginning of the ascending aorta it ascends it, it start okay it starts at at the left side of the sternum left side of the sternum at the third costal cartilage third costal cartilage left side okay okay it is continued as the ascending as the arch of the aorta as the arch of the aorta at right second costal chondral joint. So this is 
there left side of the sternum and the third costal cartilage. This area is the third costal cartilage and this part this is the right second costochondral joint costochondral joint okay we got we got the ascending aorta this is coming out of the upper end of the left ventricle or the base of the left ventricle okay we got that and how long is the ascending aorta it is about five centimeter in length okay it is guarded by the aortic valve at the beginning of left from where it, it is coming out of the left ventricle it is guarded by the aortic semilunar valve okay we have aortic semilunar valve here and it has three dilatation just above the valve there's three dilatations three dilatations just above the cusp of the valve of the of the aortic semilunar valve okay we got Three dilatations. These are called aortic sinuses. Are called aortic sinuses. Okay. So we have three aortic sinuses. Okay. There are three or three aortic sinuses. These are the anterior left posterior. right posterior sinuses these are important to us okay so we got three sinuses and ascending aorta has two branches the ascending aorta has two branches you must remember that these are the left coronary artery left coronary artery this coronary artery arises from the left posterior aortic sinus okay arises from the left posterior left posterior aortic sinus okay it is also called also called just remember it is also called also called left aortic sinus left aortic sinus left left coronary sinus 
sinus. Okay. So we got the left coronary artery, one branch. Okay, so it is called left coronary sinus. You can say left coronary sinus, also called, it is also accepted as left posterior aortic sinus or left coronary sinus. Another one, we have second branch, the right coronary artery. This arises from the anterior aortic sinus. Arises from the anterior aortic sinus. Also called, also called, is also called right coronary sinus right okay the same as the right coronary sinus okay that arises right coronary sinus okay we got two branches of the ascending aorta we got its length is five centimeter it arises from the upper end of the left ventricle also called base of the left ventricle okay so it continued as the arch of the aorta it continued arch of the aorta at the level of the right second costochondral junction joint it begins on the left side of the sternum at the level of the third costal cortex okay we got the ascending aorta, its branches, its length, and aortic sinuses. Now we have to know some of the clinical anatomy. Anatomy. We may have birth defect in the aortic valve. We may have congenital bicuspid aortic valve okay we may have some type of disease process that may lead to aortic stenosis or aortic incompetence aortic stenosis or or aortic incompetence Okay. In that situation, there will be left ventricular hypertrophy because blood is unable to pump out properly. Okay. We may have that problem. Another problem is that we may have aneurysm, aneurysm of the ascending aorta. Aneurysm may happen any part of the aorta. Not only in ascending aorta, maybe in the arch of the aorta, maybe in the descending thoracic aorta, maybe in the abdominal aorta. What is aneurysm? Aneurysm is the abnormal dilatation. Why this happened? It may be due to some type of problem in the structure, in the connective tissue structure, like that of like that of ehlar danlos syndrome or Marfan syndrome, okay. Maybe ehlar danlos syndrome. Maybe connective tissue disorder or maybe Marfan syndrome. It's a genetic problem or it may be a, a complication of tertiary syphilis. Okay, tertiary syphilis that may lead to any region of the ascending aorta. It may also involve the arch of the aorta, so there may be any region. Aorta may be dilated like that, that may be ruptured. 
that may be catastrophic. Okay, we got that. We got the clinical anatomy. Certainly, we may have some atherosclerosis as the age advances. So, that's all about uh, ascending aorta. If you like my video, please support my channel. Please subscribe my channel. Please share the information with your friends. Have a nice day. Bye now.